In this short video, I'll show you how to enhance your safety by adjusting WhatsApp privacy settings for better protection. Did you know many users overlook crucial privacy features in WhatsApp that expose their personal information? You don't want to fall into that category. These settings will help prevent WhatsApp privacy issues, including limiting access to your profile and controlling who sees your activity. Hello and welcome to the 3 Minutes Fix channel. With years of experience assisting users with iPhone and Android devices, we've helped countless people set up security and privacy in WhatsApp. Today, we'll do the same for you by helping you take control of your WhatsApp privacy settings to safeguard your account. Stay with me until the end to learn how to disable your last scene on WhatsApp, which hides your online status. Before we explore how to change your privacy settings, let's first locate the WhatsApp privacy menu. To change most of these settings, tap the three dots menu icon at the top right corner. Then select Settings. Finally, tap on Privacy and choose the privacy setting you'd like to change. Now, let's get started with the individual privacy settings. The first privacy setting to adjust is your profile photo and about info. This is where you determine who sees your WhatsApp profile photo. To set it, from the Privacy section, tap Profile Photo. If you don't want everyone to see your photo, set it to My Contacts or restrict specific people by using the My Contacts Accept option. Another privacy setting to adjust is your About Status. Here, you can select who sees the personal info you share from the WhatsApp About feature. From Privacy, tap on the About menu under Privacy. Here you can adjust it to limit visibility and keep your information private. The third setting to adjust is the status privacy. This feature lets you control who can see your WhatsApp status updates. To do this, from privacy, go to status and choose who can view your updates. Use my contact except or only share with to specify certain people. You can also disable read receipts to prevent people from knowing when you've seen their messages. But remember, this also hides who sees your status updates. This feature is located directly under the privacy menu. Another important setting is disappearing messages. This feature automatically deletes chats after 24 hours, 7 days, or 90 days. It prevents old conversations from being a privacy risk, especially for sensitive chats. To activate this, from the Privacy menu, tap Default Message Timer. From there, select how long you want the message to stay before it automatically disappears. Remember, the person you're chatting with will know it's turned on. You can enable this feature in both individual and group chats to further protect your data. Another privacy setting to adjust is Groups Privacy Setting. This feature ensures no one can add you to groups without your permission. To activate it, from the Privacy menu, tap on Groups. You can choose to allow everyone, My Contacts, or My Contacts Accept. Choosing My Contacts Accept will block unwanted invites. A crucial safety setting to always keep an eye on is Live Location. This feature allows you to share your location in real time with others. Ensure it's only shared with trusted contacts to avoid unwanted tracking. Before we continue, if you're finding this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more WhatsApp tips. Now, let's continue with WhatsApp privacy settings. To prevent unwanted WhatsApp calls from unknown callers, you should block them. This feature is located in the call section under the privacy menu. Targeting it on will block calls from WhatsApp users who are not in your contact list. For utmost WhatsApp privacy, enabling the app lock feature is very important. This feature, located under the privacy menu, allows you to lock the WhatsApp app, requiring your fingerprint to unlock it. To enable it, from the privacy menu, tap app lock. Next. Toggle on Unlock with Biometric and complete the setup by activating Fingerprint Lock. In all of this, many users agree that hiding your online status is one of the most important WhatsApp security features. 
In this video linked here, I'll show you the easy steps to adjust the last seen and online status, enabling you to determine who can see the last time you were on WhatsApp or when you're online. Click to watch it after this. To explore more helpful video tutorials, check the description below and subscribe to our channel. If you have a question or need more help, leave a comment and I'll be happy to assist. For more WhatsApp video tutorials, click this card. Thank you for tuning in.